Monday. Showers return Tuesday afternoon. And these fish are posted pre-spawn feeding up on the flats. This is a that's bad news. Nope, not a lot around here on a Friday. Only good news. So what do you got? My good news is that that is that. Take your time. We've got all half hour. All right, so here's the backstory. I'm going fishing, it's opening day, and me and my nephew are gonna take the boat out and go try to catch some walleyes on Cherry Creek. My buddy Nate was gonna go pick up his boat, and on the way he decided to stop off and meet me and catch some fish on Cherry Creek. It just so happened at the same time, the news was there and they were shooting footage from across the shore, and they saw Nate pulling up in his final truck and they wanted to find out who he was and have a conversation. And so that's how the news came over and met us at our boat. And here's the rest of that segment. It's the official start of boating season in Colorado, why I'm wearing salmon. So our Tom Cole grabbed his floaties to go out and ask our every Friday question at Cherry Creek Reservoir. Forget the headlines on TV. What's your good news? Look at what we are dealing with right now. You know, talk about the, the world of opportunity. Great weather, opening for boating, and recreation is at its biggest point. I buried him in the water. So I'm going out with my good buddy Chris, and I got my kids out here. So, uh, yeah, opening day, getting the lay of the land, and, uh, yeah, just kicking off the season. Well, my good news is it's spring. I'm out here fishing on the boat. I'm about to go to a trip to Maui. I have a one-year-old son who is amazing, just finished his swim class, and my wife is actually pregnant with our second. So, for all of you that don't know, now you do. My good news is it's open boating and there's lots of fishing in the season. Good news in my life and just in Colorado, I'm an outdoorsman. My life is in the outdoors and I'll tell you, you cannot beat it right now. My name's Ryan, I'm 16 and I'm happy to be out here this spring, enjoy God's beautiful creation and catch some fish. Thank you for making a movie about me. Can I see the movie? Five years of your Friday good news. I think that's the first pregnancy announcement. How about that? That's so after that happened, we were ready to drop lines and get fishing. Uh, we had gone out just before that, uh, came back to pick up Nate. We had one 19 and a half inch walleye in the box, which is the one that was on the segment. And uh, we wanted to just get lines in the water. So no intro to this video. Let's get right into it. Can you lock that one in? Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys, we got another fish on here. Just ended up switching a couple of these paddle tails, and um, they're really liking the purple color. So we'll see what we got them on here. I think this might be the purple one, but I'm not 100% sure. Nice one. All right. There we go. Nice, healthy walleye. Look what he took. Purple. Great looking fish. We're gonna get him measured here. That guy is 17 and three quarters. This guy, 17 and like three quarters, maybe a little bit more. You could probably make this fish stretch, but we're not out here to cheat the system. We want 18 plus fish. So just keep that in mind. If the fish is right on 18, I always put them back. If they're over 18, you know you're legal. You don't have to worry about it. It's just a better way to go. Great looking fish. There's plenty more to catch. We're gonna get after them. Coming in right now. How's he feel? Oh, oh there he is. One. He's up at the top. Actually, looks like a. Oh, no, I don't 
smaller size. Nah, it just felt big for some reason. All right. Got this one coming in on a rope. All right. Nice. How's that for a camera and a net job? I'm really liking this jig. The third fish to launch that jig. There we go. Nice little post spawner here. Male, beautiful fish. Let's see how long he goes. It's gonna be short for sure, but let's see how short. He is 17 and three quarters. There you go. Beautiful little Cherry Creek walleye. Nice fish. Great bones, we're gonna get him back. All right, we got a fish on here, boys and girls. Try to bring him in the middle. So try to bring him in here. Okay. Yep. Nice and easy. Nothing crazy. Keep going. Keep going. Pick a side. Okay. Strong side. You know what he ate? The derple. There we go. Right there, boys and girls. Nice walleye on the purple derple. Swim bait. Swallowed it. Pinned it right in the corner. Let's see what we got here. Just short. 17 and three quarters. Want to take a picture? Sure. Okay, uh, just set it down outside of the back of the boat. All right, here we go. 17 and three quarter inch walleye. Ryan caught it. How was that? That was nice. That was a good first catch of the day for me. Nice looking fish. Spring walleye, 17 and three quarter. We're gonna let him go. Put him on back. See you later, buddy. to wrap up our day here at Cherry Creek. We had an awesome one. Um, we caught five or six fish. Could have caught more if I didn't lose my trolling rod. Shot right out the back of the boat and went to the bottom of the lake. So that's a rookie mistake uh, here early season. Stuff happens, man. There's nothing you can really do about it. Really happy and proud of my TFO rod sponsorship at the moment because I'll be able to replace that rod. But um, yeah, we had a great day out here. Just pulling paddle tails. They really like paddle tails. Purple worked well. Pinks always work well. Kind of classic for this lake actually purple and pink so um, we're just sticking with what we know and uh, it tends to pay off so um, went through a bunch of different baits had a great time out here and uh, really appreciate you guys tuning in if you haven't come out lead core fishing in the spring for walleyes you got to do it it's a total blast and uh, we got one for fish tacos so we feel good about that thanks so much for tuning into the channel and we'll see you next time on co fish or oh, no <laughs> catching colorado <laughs> my own nephew. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in more relatable content, you can check out these videos right here. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can stay updated on our next adventures.